Hello, thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast. This is episode 111. I am Grant Fierro, and this is Michael Medina. And we're here to talk to you about skateboarding. We're going to talk about uh, what went on this week. Zion, rec- Zion Wright had a recruit. He shot away or won the Copenhagen Open. Uh, Dan Lutheran's push part was released actually two weeks ago, but we forgot to talk about it last week. <laughs> Kyle Walker just got his own day. Dude. Um, Yuri had a rough cut, which was unbelievable. So we'll, we'll get through all that. Uh, to start it off, we're going to talk about uh, Spitfire, a short video they released called Avenues and Alleyways. Uh, it's on the Deluxe website. It's a, um, it, well, it's posted on the Spitfire YouTube channel. It's uh, kind of for the new, uh, what do they call it, the back-to-school drop? Of Back Spitfire to school. Stuff. Yeah. It, Mike just watched it. I watched it yesterday and, and this morning because I really liked it. So, Mike, go ahead and say what you want to say. Uh, first things first, there were so many dope ollies in it. And I do like that. that There's like cool five thing. ollies in it that are just absolutely gnarly. It's Over included. that fat can in the beginning. is Dude, so the, the end ollie is one of the most fucked up things I've ever that, seen. That was insane. Like, it starts with like two, like a little slapper, and then it goes to a little wall ride, and then you're like, where's this dude going? And he starts bombing a hill, and you think, oh, Oh, it's, this is sick. He's going to bomb the shit out of this hill. And then all of a sudden, nope. Fat ass Ollie. Nope. Like, wow. Were you expecting that first time you saw it? No way. No. No. No fucking way. I was like, oh, damn. He's going to bomb this fucker. I'm still going to watch it because I'm into that. But, like, damn. Yeah, hip it, it was. Hip to hip Ollie, a downhill like that is. Yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you kicking out, you're not going to be able to run that, run out of that. Dude, fall. the way he landed was so sketchy. Dude. I know. He, yeah, he could have gotten destroyed. I don't know. I'm into it. The fact, uh, another thing that I was going to hit on is the fact that it's only two minutes long, which is sick. Sometimes yeah, it's all it's we need, man. Sometimes it's yeah, all it's we short. need. It's short. short it's straight to the point. point. The only thing that's uh, kind of surprising is that it's relative no-name dudes in it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all because I all think they killed it, but, I mean, who was the ender? Uh, who I genuinely you? don't know. Okay, I know this. I'm watching it right now, so I can... Maybe I'm not supposed to know, you know? Maybe it's so just I can like... Remember oh, because I'm familiar with most of the dudes. I know Matt Gottwig did that Wally board slide. And that then was Harry... so sick to pop out, too. Ooh. Yeah, and then Harry Lintel skated that super tall bump over bar. But this Ender, I don't honestly. I've I've seen him, but to be straight up, I don't know his name. Like or so, like, I at least don't know the name to his face. If if someone told me that's blank, I'd be like, oh okay. So do you feel like it's one of those situations where you, you there, you wish that there was kind of name tar- like name cards as they pulled up? No, no. Honestly, I think it's fine how it is because do I want to know who it is? Yes, I do. But when it's a two-minute montage and the footage yeah. is going to be mixed up, names just look stupid, in my opinion. Yeah, especially, I don't like – well, you could have done it. Nah, you're right. That is. Let's see. Uh, it's it's Okay, so the video includes Harry Lintel, who I'm familiar with, Austin Canfosh, who I'm not, Matt Gottwig, who I am. I just said that's a guy to the sick Wally board side, that super tall ledge. James Caps, who I'm very familiar with the name. I know he's getting hooked up by Lakai, and I think he clips in the flare. But I don't really like know his skating or know what he looks like. And then Alex okay. Kahn and Sean Green. I know Sean Green's name, but I, same thing as James. I'm not too familiar. I just know the name. Okay. Um, so I know the Ender's not Harry Lintel or Matt Gottwig. There you go. We're on, we're uh, we're breaking it down now. Well, maybe we can go to Instagram because didn't they just post just that Ender clip or what, did they not? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway. I really like the song. I think that should get pointed out. The song went so cool with that. And it's actually a song that Ishad skated to in a video part. It's it's a part that was all filmed in New York. I don't remember what it was called. But Ishad has used that song. So I was familiar with it the second it started. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Quick, short, fun edit. Anything else you want to add to that, Mike? Or should we just no? Move that's right on? that's definitely the definition of it. Yeah, right. I mean, that's cool though. I like stuff like that. Yeah, me too. So it doesn't always have to be eighteen minutes long. Yeah, I know? think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, don't don't get us wrong. I think we both love a full length skate video, but I think that sometimes an internet stuff on the internet can get drawn out. Just I feel like almost just to say that it's longer. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but if it's something like that, there's it's easier to watch when it's just a couple minutes. I think. I agree. Um, okay, let's talk about. So last week, uh, there was a couple comments of videos that we hadn't talked. We just missed in the past, however few weeks. I don't know how we forgot about Dan Liu. I was talking all that shit about push and all that too. Yeah, let, let's go. Let, we'll do that. Let's talk about Dan Lutheran's push part, which was released about two weeks ago on the barracks. It was sick. It was sick. Well, as Drew would say, sell me on it. Uh, I mean, it's would... kind of exactly what you'd expect out of him. I mean, it's okay. not, obviously not the um, the hammers that we saw in Propeller or, I don't know, just like a bigger full-length, bigger video, so to speak. I mean, he definitely skates some rails, and he definitely does his, his Dan Liu thing. But we also yeah. see some, some decent ass. We see some flip tricks out of him. We see some lines, which is like, not necessarily what Dan Lee was known for, you know? And I think that my favorite thing of the entire thing was giving his brother the ender. Yeah. Like, what? That's so fucking dope. Like, he gave yeah, him a cameo cool. trick and then brought him back to do the ender. Like, that's amazing. I love it. Yeah. It's just, uh, like, um, at this point, I feel like we're just kind of expecting, like, this, like, fun. I also think the song went along really well with him. Mm-hmm. I would like, agree. The way that, and um, <clears throat> I think that it's it's – we're kind of he's one of those dudes that we're lucky enough to get like a a feel for his personality through his video projects. Yep, I would agree again. Which is is really hard to come by at times, especially with dudes that are known for just like the big rail chompers, you know what I mean? Like it's typically it's you don't really hear like in depth interviews with those kind of dudes that often. So it's really cool to see that. It's really cool to like kind of get a feel for Dan Liu as like a not a skateboarder, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it was rad. I think that I think it should have came out sooner, maybe. But again, timelines and all that stuff, we don't know shit about it. We don't know anything about it. So, I mean, it's cool. I'm glad that it came out. I'm glad we got a Dan Liu part in 2017. So, Yeah, I would, I would definitely agree with you about his personality. Definitely gets shown through skating, which is super cool and I think hard to do. Especially in a time where we're seeing so much footage put out in general, whether it's on Instagram or uh, YouTube, the barracks thrash or whatever it is, we're getting pushed uh, because we're into it, obviously, but we're watching a ton of skateboarding. And so it's cool to be able to watch someone that really displays their personality through it. Um, I pulled it up right now just to point out a couple clips that I really liked. One was the, uh, it's in Long Beach. It's a back lip. It's a three block and he's skating it like a ledge. Like he back lips the top block and then pops up and then front threes down the three block. Damn. I always think that's super cool when there's like a lip side trick and they go on top. Uh, I just think it looks sick. Yeah, um, and if I'm not sure. mistaken, he actually did a trick that he feebles this ledge that goes up and go, goes into a wall ride to fakie, and I'm pretty sure Kossin did the same thing in Chronicles. Oh, no uh, shit. Yeah, because I know, because Kossin had two tricks on. His ender was that back lip to wall ride, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure right before it, he does the same feeble to wall ride to fakie. But it looks so sick. I haven't um, watched that costume part in quite a I'll while. I'll pull it up to, to check, but I'm pretty positive. Oh, uh, you know what else is cool, Mike? Was this uh, line where he starts out with a kickflip back 50 on this real thin metal. It's like basically a flat bar. Yeah, yeah. And and it shows how uh, one of the tries he goes into Willie Grind an accident, but then still lands it. And then they show him push, and then it just restarts. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does a kickflip back 50. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. Dude, I can't um, think of what Instagram clip it was, but did you see that guy try to do the 180 alley hoop 50 50 and land into like switch? Oh, and he wanted to, uh, like, fakey back Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like switch back Willie Grant. Yeah. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah. And he held on to it. And his, his like, look on his face was just like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's, if you were trying to do that, that's so fucked. It looks so sick. Yeah, I dude. believe that was at uh, one of the Copenhagen things. Yeah, it was. I just can't think of who it was. Yeah, I was. I didn't. I don't think I'd ever seen the person, but it that was clip gnarling. was sick. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's cool. You brought that up. Uh, and then one other thing, still uh, going in the past weeks a little bit, was Cole Wilson, uh, his X Games raw footage from his real street. Oh, how do we forget about to talk about the like the best handrail skater in the last fucking ten years? Yeah. Um. I actually didn't even get the chance to watch this until this oh, week. Oh, it's so gnarly. It's I've seen it now. Gnar- oh, okay. But yeah, I, I was late to it because it's been out for a little while. It's um, gnarly. Yeah, I was able to watch it this week, and I'm actually pretty excited that someone told us to uh, look back on it and talk about it because it was crazy. <laughs> so, 
So it was one of those things that got overlooked, and I don't know how. It completely did. I think if 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 it was put out on like Thrasher or something, it would have blown up. I think that it was one of those things that like ex- oh my god, exactly. exactly. It, it was on. I think it's on Foundation's YouTube channel, mm. and it has like six thousand views. And if it was on Thrasher, it'd probably have like three hundred thousand because it's it, it's insane. Dude, he is so good. Or maybe it's on some yet. I don't know. One of those. One of his sponsors or whatever YouTube channels. Uh, you know what I really like was he's smithing that kink trail frontside smith grind in the beginning, mm-hmm. and there's uh, people. I think it's maybe at apartments or something. And almost every attempt, you can see different people standing in that front yard area, like watching him. Like this is crazy. I didn't even <laughs> he, notice. Yeah, I really like that. Um, like it, it kind of just again, like we've talked about in the past with raw footage, like it kind of puts you there because that's definitely something you'd notice if you were there oh, with yeah. him getting that clip. But in the, in the video part, you would never notice that probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and the bales and just the process of skating those kink trails was crazy, especially like those super long grinds to see like when the rail will push him off. Like like if he's Smith grinding or feeble grinding, he'll fall into like a lip slide or board slide. Um, and that super tall feeble through all those kinks at the end, how hard that looked to even get into the feeble for him because oh, that rail yeah. was so tall. That's not Kept really. going into board slide and slipping onto his butt and then got into, I think the second one he locked in and went all the way down. He went to pop out and there was that girl like walking in the um, parking lot and bailed, so that sucked. And then he, I think the make was actually another day. I believe they went back for that. Uh, Did he, he have, got it. Was he wearing asphalt? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Does he wear asphalt? I again don't know. <laughs> I saw it broke a few boards in that thing too. Oh yeah, because there was a couple times where he is. I think a few times at different spots his board cool. broke. All right, I'm sorry. Who's on Someone asphalt? Asphalt Yacht Club is Paul Hart. What? Riley Hawk, I believe. Still, I think I'll go on the website. Um, Al Davis and Jaws, Jaws, what and a strange uh, team. Where's that? that where, where is Asphalt sold? Greater uh, skate shops. I couldn't tell you. I've never seen it in a <laughs> skate shop. I, I think Me the only neither. time I. I, th- I seriously think the only time I've seen it like on sale at a retail place is like Ross, TJ Maxx, yeah, Ross. Yeah. Somehow, yeah, if I was, like, randomly in there, I think I've seen it in one of those places. Yeah. Or, dude, Ross will, like, randomly sell, sell skate shoes. Oh, yeah, people, a lot That's of so times when I was younger, weird. like, randomly find, like, $20. Yeah, my homie just found a pair of twenty twenty five dollar uh, CKs. Yeah, actually, that's funny. A friend of mine seriously just got Corey Kennedy's from Ross for either yeah, it was twenty five or thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man, what the fuck? Are I, those like ninety dollars shoes? How does it even end up there? Mm-hmm. Like from who? Uh, I want to know like what. Yeah, I would just. How like does it the, even? That's a good question. How the skate stuff ends up there? Yeah, because I, I mean, know I, I I know friends of mine that have gotten like Lakai's there too. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. And Adidas, for that matter, too. Not, like, good ones. Yeah, though. I could see, like, Adidas and Nike, but just, like, a smaller brand that it's only making skateboarding shoes. The one the one out by us used to me. have Americas. Really? Yeah, like, often. That's I see, funny. like, the Herman G6s there, like, all the time. The black and the gold colorway that no one fucking liked. Oh, where, like, the little part of the sole was gold and, like, everything yep. else was black, basically? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I never talked. That shit's ugh. ugly. <laughs> ugly as hell. My dog is ripping something up in the other room right now. So I googled Asphalt Yacht Club, and the first thing that pops up is tillys.com slash AYC. So. Oh, Tilly, what's Tilly's it's out there? there? What is it? It's like a... Oh, they don't have that where you are? No, isn't it kind of like Kohl's or something, right? Like Zoomies. Oh, it's like Zoomies? No, it's like Zoomies. Oh, wow. It's like you... It, okay, it's like this. It's like Zoomies, but I don't think they actually have boards. But they sell shoes. That's so weird. But it's like streetwear. Like I wish I was – like I want to dress like a skateboarder type thing. That's so weird that they have a bunch of skate shit and not skateboards. Yeah, I, find that, I find that really ass backwards, dude. Okay, so here's the, here's the team. Stevie Williams, obviously. 
for Asphalt Yacht Club, as we're talking about. <laughs> Al Davis, which we already said, Jaws, Paul Hart, Cole Wilson, Derek Wilson. We didn't mention him. Oh, Stephen Lawyer. We didn't mention him either. Oh, yeah. And Oh, wait. Riley Hawk's gone. Seva. Was Seva actually on, though? I don't know. He was wearing that shit, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, Riley Hawk's name isn't on here anymore. It doesn't shock well, me. There you go. I uh, was wondering when that would happen. Apparently, it just happened or something. I don't know. Breaking news. Riley Hawk isn't I don't, into Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riley Hawk isn't into Asphalt Yacht Club anymore. Um, yeah, and well, apparently he no longer skates for them, but yeah. All right. So, so I guess no. this, I guess this, uh, conversation wasn't entirely useless. Um, <laughs> uh, Mike, one of your favorite skateboarders and up, up and coming <gasps> on right released a recruit on the barracks. Snapped. It's fucking snapped. The lights were off. Dog, how many tricks did he do in a row on that rail? The 10 rail he killed. Like What? Half cat back over crook. Yeah, the full cat back tail was nasty. Cat back tail, uh, half cat back smith. That was a good one. That's a super dope looking trick down rails. That the half cat back over crook was one that surprised me the most, especially because to... especially because Chase commented on Instagram yesterday and said he did it second try of his life. And he had never done it down a rail. Wait, what? The half cat back over crook down the ten. Oh yeah, that's Chase bombs. said that was second try of his life. It, like the one that the clip that is used is second try. He had never done it down a rail. Oh my god! And he did it down the ten. Does that surprise that you though? Small. Um, I am aware Zion Wright's insane, but yes, that does surprise me because Dude, you don't Zion... even see you don't even see that trick. No, hell you no. rarely see half cat back over crook. He was just on one, dude. I mean, he usually is. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Zion, we got to see a Zion board immediately. I need a Zion board <laughs> immediately. How many weeks in a row have you said that on here? I don't know. At least 10. <laughs> what, um, I mean, I'm guessing you got psyched when you heard that they were going to put out a recruit for him. Yeah, dude, for we're just boy. one step, one step closer to the fucking board that we all need and want. What uh, we got? We got the big boy Floyd board. The world, the universe is okay. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. All the Florida boys, Florida uh, dudes, don't fuck around. Ish, dude. Oh my god. Tyson, Definitely good. Tyson. Oh, John free. Dillo is dropping a part. I think tomorrow on Thrasher. Another one. Oh shit. Yeah. That dude rips. It's all the pop. <laughs> all He's the so pop. Sick. Um. Okay, for me personally, about the recruit, I you hated I, the song. Okay, okay. Well, let me let me get a little preface or preface, not preface. I don't know why I said that. Um, usually, I hate hearing people complain about songs because it's like whatever, just get over it. Like I just always watch a video and I try to not let the song bother me. Every once in a while, I'm like, whatever, I don't really like the song. This song was just like that to me. It was like. Well, I don't think it made the footage any more enjoyable, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I think I came into it with an expectation because of other Zion video parts and whatever that I, that it was going to be a, a probably a fast paced rap song. You wanted like some future, which which yeah, I mean whatever. What did he, what was his next new wave? He skated to uh, whatever that Philadelphia rapper's name is, Meek Mill. Yeah, there you go. Um, you know, something something high speed rap that would obviously fit his skating and personality perfect. And we got something very far from We that. got that we got that royalty free. Yeah, that I mean that's uh, what I would assume was they didn't have the yeah. money to to buy a song, which I get. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's expensive and whatever. Uh but it was just not what I expected, so it kind of threw me off. Obviously the footage we've already talked about is super good. But in terms of like the video itself, I would have loved for the song to be something else. Mm. But I'm sure there's a reason that the song is what it is. Totally. I mean, it's like I said, man. I'm sure that's the case. Yeah. I'm having a hard time believing that Zion's going home and bumping that one in his fucking headphones. <laughs> Just the beat. Yeah. I'm having a hard time believing that Chase is doing the same. So I'm assuming it's probably just cost free 99. Yeah, most likely. I would. Mm-hmm. I would have the same assumption, but like. Like the word I just said, it's an assumption. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, Copenhagen Open was this 
I guess, week. I don't know. Those dudes are out there forever. Mm -hmm. uh, which, first of all, looks like a great time. Hell yeah. Uh, I love how they all ride bikes everywhere. Cool. Oh, the Beeble one? That, that just seems hilarious. cool. It's cool to, yeah, the Beeble. Like, the Insta videos you get when they're out there are always so sick. Um, I love how the contest is more than just at the skate park. I get that that's like the last part of it. But I think it's really cool how it's at different street spots and they're going around the whole city. Um, it, it looks like a great experience. That's probably mm -hmm. the number one contest I would want to go to to hang out and watch and skate, whatever, just be there. Mm -hmm. uh, because... I mean, I definitely, I'm still Tampa I definitely get Pro. a similar, yeah, I get a similar vibe to Tampa Pro, but I really like the whole exploring the whole city aspect and how that's like a part of the contest is so cool. Mm -hmm. um, Dude, that video but, of yeah, Brad, of Eric Bragg, that video of Eric Bragg pulling up on Bebo is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, when they pass the beer, right? Out yeah. the car. And he's yeah, like, is it funny. warm? <laughs> what does he say? Um, or is it cold? Not really. <laughs> not really uh, but yeah I mean the last part of the contest is in the Copenhagen skate park or whatever and Ishad took the win which is sick because I think they those do. contests whether it's Tampa or Copenhagen anything that has that relaxed skate hangout vibe is I think Stick. when we see Ishad kill it the hardest I agree was, um, all right, my question is I didn't was Louis there? Louis Lopez yeah he was out there? yeah I didn't hear anything from him all week. I saw a couple of Insta videos that he was in. I didn't see shit. Uh, I saw a lot of I, – I always see, like, a ton of Boo Johnson and Tory like, the past couple of years. I feel like they're, like, a big personality for the whole thing, which is sick. Uh, oh, did you see Felipe Gustavo Trafel of Crook a two block? Yes, I did. That was unbelievable. Uh, yes, I did. That was so gnarly. Hey, Felipe is the man, dude. His skating is out of control. I it cannot is. believe he trade for Crook that. Um, that's it, dude. His that's like his thing, though. Yeah, that is his trick. But the trade for Crook, the second block of a ledge was insane. Yeah, that's insane. Like I don't think it, many other people. I'm just happy that could a shot that. one, dude. Oh, one. it's it's so fitting. It's like yeah. that whole relaxed vibe and flowy around is. I what think is like exactly, when a shot wins things. I mean, I agree. Obviously. Yes. Um, but, I mean, even when you see Tampa Pro every year, I feel like he on Instagram, he he's the dude that you see. It. He's the dude you see on Instagram the most killing it throughout the whole weekend. I agree. And that's kind of what I got with Copenhagen this year, and then he took the win, which is sick. I totally agree with all of that. Um, and as a, as a viewer and a fan, I really hope that Thrasher does another one of those Copenhagen movies. They will. Because last year's is so sick. They definitely will, dude. I watched it again this week. It made me want to watch it, and it's super Those, cool. Dude, that contest is so unlike any other. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get there. That looks super fun. Yeah, I heard that. So there's so many great spots out there, too. So sick to see all the spots that they hit and out there street skating. Yeah, seriously. Um, well, we're on the just... Real skateboard team riders. Let's just get the K-Walks out of the way because I know you're hyped on this edit too. Dude, what? Um, this dude has his own holiday now. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll start out with that. He has his own day in Oklahoma. From now on. That's what the uh, the mayor said from here on. That was – I love how, how – the, the way K-Walks gave him the little hug handshake thing. <laughs> like the yeah, mayor yeah. looked super awkward. Kind yeah, of you, could, like... you could also see it like when he was sick, the mayor was talking. You could literally see Kyle just like kind of taking it in as a reality. Yeah, and then what does he say? He's like, "It's real." Or, this is real, or something. He smiles and like, "Thing, yeah. pretty crazy, dude." That's absolutely insane. I know. You know, one thing I noticed from the edit that's just like super random and just out there is he friends with Clint Walker? Oh yeah, because I saw him like when they were shooting water guns. Yeah, and, and then like the next frame, uh, next frame, there's Elijah, and I was just like, "Oh, that's funny. I didn't even think of that." Uh, Clint. Uh, I mean, he's from Oklahoma too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's so what, I don't know. Maybe was he was just happened to be there. I don't know. Yeah, I've never. I, mean, I can't I remember a time seeing them like hanging out on social media. Was the only place never, I it. never. But, yeah, I the, but remember when they were doing like the like walkers, like all the walkers or whatever, and like they they like had like a post of like all the I forgot who it was, but there was like a post that said like all the walkers, the people with like walker in their name or whatever. Yeah, was he in it? Yeah, definitely. 
Okay. Yeah. I don't so know. Maybe I they're like, see, like social see, media friends. I whenever Sebo and Walker Ryan are together, their their captions are always about the Walker. Yeah. K walks. Like I always see Sebo comment like uh, like if K walks posts a clip, a comment like Walker Power or something like yeah, that. Yeah, totally. Funny. <laughs> Super funny. Dude, there are some walkers out there that are fucking awesome. I think it's sick how that like they're all last names and there's Walker Ryan. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah, Literally has his name backwards. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that edit was crazy. The fakey five zero fakey flip he did on that bank to ledge, Kyle. Did oh man, so sick. yeah, that's gnarly. Frontside right. flip switch Manny, backside flip switch Manny. Who did that? Was that Gilbert? Yeah, right after the right after you mean like the yeah. back to back clip. Yeah. And, well, Abe did switch from eighty Manny too. That dude, that was about. fire, dude. The Vans dude and Rowan was fucking killing it. Mm-hmm. No, he did like Nolly barley grind on the bank to ledge. That was cool. That's a no. super weird trick. Yeah, I don't know. See, the Vans dudes is crazy. Are they? They're coming out to Chicago, aren't they? No, I wish. Oh, not this time. They did. No. That was what you went to last year, correct? Yeah, that was buck, dude. That was, sure it was super buck. But um, fakey Trey, dude, what'd you think? Oh, uh, made me think of Austin Gillette immediately. But I love the way it looked, dude. What the fuck? He I think every time I'll see Fakey it. Trey on a hip now, I'm gonna think of Austin's. But I love this one as well. Dude, this one was right up there with Austin's, man. Austin's was so sick, dude. That one was so sick. Yeah, it, they they both of them looked incredible. <laughs> That's a super weird trick. It's not something you see much, but the on way hips, it flips no. on a hip looks so cool. No. That trick's so hard to do on hips, dude. Well, I always, I always shoot out like I'll land on the lower. I've half never of even tried to fake it. It just didn't see. I don't know. I never even thought of trying it. I feel like I, I, I seriously don't feel like I've seen it until Austin did it. Nah, you gotta push fakey, dude. You got it. I skate fakey, but I, I mean, I don't know. Never thought of that trick. You know, funny, I feel like we both skate fakey a good amount, but we don't, don't not do the same fakey tricks. Hell no, I do fakey big spin heel and fakey frontside flip all the time. I, I do frontside half cap flips, but I don't think I've ever done a fakey big heel. Oh, that's a, the Rick flip? I think, I think I've either only stuck it or landed it the other way, like the inward heel way. Oh, I can't. I can do fakey inward heel on flat. I haven't done it on anything, though. Yeah, but I'm saying like, uh, like, uh, like a fakey big heel, but backside, like inward heel 180. Oh, that's gnarly. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Why? But I, I can't do. A re- I've never done a fakey big heel, like a front big heel, like a regular one. Why? I can't even figure out the other one. The other one's mad hard. Just think, fake inward heel, and then throw your shoulders. Yeah, then it would just be a half cap flip. You mean a half cap heel? What do you mean? I mean a half cap heel. No, you focus on the whole inward heel part, and then once you catch inward heel, you, you turn. That's fuck. That's fucking gnarly, dude. I don't know. Every time I see it, There's I think of Daniel Jelly Potato Plop because he did it to Manual, and I still don't know how it's What? Popping. Potato Plop. You know what else is actually really good at is Billy Jackson. Oh, Billy's a beast, too. Billy no. Jackson did it to 50-50. I think it was just on a red curb, but still. He, he went straight into back 50. <laughs> it was so sick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Give, you should give that one a try, Mike. Dude, no. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fakey. Dude, that sounds oh. so hard. What about full cap heel? You ever done that one on a hip? Front side or the other way? Um, I'll go with either, but I was asking about back side. I've never done either. But I've been really, oh, really? I've been, you to do I've, been I've been thinking about both. I've I've done a back side. I've done a I've done a front side one like against my shoulders on flat, but never on a hip. Huh, I feel like it'd be easier on a hip. Damn, dude, this fucking super hot chick out my window. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Um, did you watch Yuri's rough cut? Hell yeah. You only think it was fucking 20 minutes long. I think it was like 13. It was pretty long. No, hell no, dude. It was like 20 minutes long. I'm dude. pretty sure it was like 13. Whatever. It seemed like it was 23. I'm going to pull it up. Now I'm interested. Shit, it was, took forever to watch, man. It was sick. I didn't get bored, though. It was fucking awesome. Oh, I definitely didn't get bored, but I definitely noticed that it was like 20 minutes. Dude, I love it. His fakey flip over the Makba ledge is just... The what about that trade? The fakey trade, dude. What? That too, and the uh, Nolly Big Heel. 
Dude, the fakey tray over that is like the how fast he has to go to get over that. Sixteen is minutes. Fucking we're, crazy. We're in the middle. Sixteen. That's basically twenty. We're rounding up. It's closer to thirteen. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Learn your fucking third grade math. You round you're up. telling me 16 is closer to 20 than it is to 13. Absolutely. Oh, my. You got to round up. That's the whole rule. I'm not I talking know. about rounding. I'm talking about which one's closer. Yeah, logically, you got to round up. That's closer. Oh, my God. Think about it, Mike, Grant. Mike, 16 is three away from 13 and four away from 20. Yeah, but we're rounding up. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, pretty much he owns Mokba because he did fakey hard flip, fakey nose grab when he out on the shootout ledge. I don't know how he did that on that ledge. And dude. he did it like three or four times. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. Hard flip back tail on that hubba was... My little hubby, uh 50-50 back won that. He like did it, he did it super gangster. What, uh, that white hubba? No, the out ledge at, at oh, Mokba. Mokba. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, dude, he killed it. I'm jealous. I wanted to go. Yeah, Mokba would be a good time. Barcelona. Uh, speaking of, we talked about broken boards, and we talked about Cole Wilson. He broke some um, – Yuri broke some boards. Oh, hell yeah, he did. Yuri, <laughs> dude, that fucking – he's, like, going to take over that team. I can't yeah, he's – He's, like, the man over there. Him, Eunice. Eunice is another one that's just holy hell. I think we might have talked about this, but his Nolly and Ordeal back nose grind on Instagram was... Dude, Eunice, we already know about Eunice. Eunice. And he also went from a feeble to a, a, a backside feeble to a backside sugar cane. Do you remember when he used to do just like... No no one's done... Like the dumbest freaking look at the camera videos. <laughs> oh yeah, those are funny. <laughs> Dude, his, his were like... Look at the camera. <laughs> What the fuck? His were crazy. His board control is on another. He did like tray flip nose grind looking at the camera the entire time. (laughs) Who does that? That's a Felipe trick. If I see tray flip nose grind, I think of Felipe. Felipe. Dude's good. Um, What else did Yuri do? Everything was so heavy. Yeah. Tray flip nose grind, he did one too on that handrail. If you're ready to spend 20 minutes watching a rough cut, dude, get to it. I mean, you'll you'll see some stuff that makes little to no sense. Yeah, definitely the process for it is gnarly to watch. That's just a long time to watch a skate video. A one-part skate video, I should say. All right, Mike. Well, let's go into something I know you want to talk about. What? Not that you didn't want to talk about that. I was going to say. But I know you're not going to complain about this one at all. I know you're going to like it. Uh, today there was released, I believe, you, you sent me the link. I think it was like the Seattle Times or something. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, go ahead. You can do the intro. You can do the whole thing. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it. But. Well, Transworld and Nike did this contest where they encouraged people to build skate parks or skate spots or add on to pre-existing skate parks or skate spots, okay? And this group of dudes, they ended up winning for building this bowl on like an island type deal, um, like a bird observatory or something is what I'm getting out of it in Seattle or like off the coast or whatever, right? And apparently it's like super illegal, super, they did everything without like anything getting passed by the city or whatever. So then the city noticed it, asked them to like tear it down or whatever. And then that's when they said, Hey, like we won this contest with Nike and trans world. And then immediately the city goes to interview Nike SB, the spokesperson for Nike SB. And they immediately just throw the towel in and say, nope, absolutely not. This is we, we don't encourage any of this. We don't condone any of this. And they're just basically blaming it, everything on the skateboarders is what I get out of it. Is that what you got out of it? Um, well, instead of doing that route, I'm just going to pull it up and quote. Well, yeah. I don't like to talk for other people. No, it's not that I don't, it's not talking for other people. It's just getting the gist of exactly what was going on and mentioned in this okay, article. Okay, so. This is what the Nike spokesperson says. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the purpose of the Transworld Skateboarding Nike SB Project 58 DIY contest was to inspire people to build or add to an existing skate spot in their local communities. Neither Nike SB nor Transworld were involved in selecting the locations chosen by consumers, but the terms and conditions of the contest 
were clear to indicate all federal, state, and local laws and regulations that they should be followed. So Nike's point of view is, well, you know, if you really read the rules, which they is clearly did it. no one's going to do that, yeah. um, then we warned you. So if, if they're, you know, from that point of view, it, whatever, you, you, it's fair. But, the, I mean, <laughs> the only part that I think kind of, at least, I'll at least say it sucks, is that they're revoking their $1,000 prize. Yeah. Um, and they have to, Nike, and they Nike have to and destroy the role. Role. Let's not forget that. Well, hold up, hold up. Nike and Transworld cannot control what the communities, get, how they're going to react. They can't. No one can control if the government, the city's going to take down the bull. That stuff happens all the time. You cannot blame anybody for that. But the fact that they're like removing them as a winner because it, it's like a bad look on Nike now. It's a bad look that this happened for like people of the city is like, oh, why is Nike supporting this? This sucks. So then Nike's response is, oh, well, they're not a winner anymore. A well, winner of this contest, we're going to take the the money back. I think that sucks. Because it's like if this if this situation didn't happen, then they would have been a winner, and the totally you know the life would have gone on, and they would have kept their thousand dollars. Yeah, and Nike probably would have shown the video. They probably would have been promoting the guys winning. They probably would have promoted their own contest. Like instead, they just threw in the towel and said, "No, uh, no, 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 no. Never mind. Sorry." Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird for sure. Um. I don't. I think that again, though, it is a prime example of corporate businesses being involved in skateboarding. That's what it is. That's what it comes down to, man. We're not I hearing mean, about. Plus well, no, listen, everywhere. listen, listen. We're not hearing from the trans world spokesperson. We're hearing from Nike spokesperson. Well, yeah, because of course the the community, the right. city, and whoever is obviously way more familiar with what Nike is, so they're going to go right. After. And that's my point right there, man. If you want to be in skateboarding, be in skateboarding. Well, okay, what I'm kind of getting out of it is that I feel like they took the Nike Nike and Transworld, but probably not, if Transworld did it, Nike pushed them to, to revoke this prize was because Nike wanted to look good to all these city people and government, mm-hmm. whatever, to say, hey, like, oh, that's not what we wanted. This is how we're going to make it up. But by doing that, they're going to look really lame to all the skateboarders because – even the way we're talking about this, we're both still disagreeing with them, but we're actually thinking through the process a lot more than a lot of skateboarders are. Right. So basically every skateboarder that sees this is gonna be bummed on it. Yep. There's um, gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of fuck Nike from this for sure. Yeah, I think there is, but I mean then it's it's nothing but uh um, I think yeah. that it's I think that it's gonna it's gonna alienate a certain not alienate like fully, but I think it's gonna affect like uh like the bull dudes, so to speak. What do you mean? I think that the transition like classical bull dude is not gonna fuck with Nike even more after this. Hmm. Uh yeah, I don't know. I think it's one bad it, it's not a good look, it's, but it's, it's just not one a good situation. look, but it's the fact it's that one it's, situation. Yeah, but it's such a people big will brand, forget man. after it, it, it's it's it is a big deal, and people will be bummed on it. But people people will forget. I um, mean, dude, we're also not the local skaters that gotta watch their fucking hard work getting destroyed, though, man. Yes, but Mike, let's not forget that. Oh no, you're you're right. But tell me this: if you go to build a DIY, you have to be anticipating that it's not gonna last that long. I agree, but I wouldn't there, build. A, I wouldn't build a. All I wouldn't build time. a bowl. So I yeah, build a bowl, build a bowl would... go for it. I'm I'm not saying don't do it, but what I'm saying is don't be completely devastated when all your work gets torn down because based off of what's happened forever, you should anticipate it. Totally, but I agree that this takes it to a whole nother level. It does suck. Um there's pros and cons to they even I mean, tried to Okay, keep look, it, ready? Like... Nike Nike does Nike looks bad in the situation. But Nike has done a ton of other really cool and good things for skateboarding. Yeah, they've also blocked In America from way. they've also blocked America from doing demos. Let's not forget that. Well, what do you mean? Remember when they like clothed, they wouldn't let them like skate at a skate park or some bullshit like that? I don't know what you're talking about at all. Never mind. Um 
but uh, yeah, I don't know. So it's interesting. We'll see if if Nike comments or whatever on they the won't. situation. It'll get brushed underneath the for sure. It'll be gone in like a week. It's just crazy. That'd be so shitty. Win a contest for Nike and then all of a sudden then be like, nah. You don't actually win. Well, uh, here's another thing you actually wanted to talk to talk about on the show. Not necessarily what? new news, but the Primitive Reserve. Oh, this is interesting. This is a very interesting one to me. So let me let me describe what it is first, if Perfect. anyone doesn't know. Uh, you subscribe, you pay $75 a month, and in return of that $75, you get a, sk- a deck, a sheet of grip tape, wax, a t-shirt. Wheels. Uh, wheels, thank you. Mm-hmm. And that's it. For 75 bucks. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, when you think about it, if you're into primitive, if that's your shit. Money-wise, it 100% makes sense as a, as a consumer if you're hyped on the brand. My thing that, that I take away from the whole thing, I, I could fucking hate primitive and I would absolutely love this idea. It's brilliant. It's absolutely innovative by all means. It's like a way of getting – of being yes, your own. What, I mean, that, do you not – I think there's a ginormous negative to it. Do you see that? What is no? it like the the skate shop thing? Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But this that is, is like super taking the skate shop out of the picture. Totally, but at the same time, oh, absolutely. There's no denying that. But like, it's it's Paul being innovative, man. Like I mean, he's re- he realizes Paul's idea. I would bet. It well, was no, Steve's no. Idea. I'm saying like it's primitive being innovative. Yes. That's what I'm getting out of it. Like. Yes, it sucks that, like, they're going to go straight around the skate shops, I guess, which is definitely fucking lame. There's no denying that. But at the same time, it's like, dude, skateboarding is going digital anyway, man. It's going online marketplaces anyway, man. Most skate shops, they have an online marketplace as well. Yeah, but buying from an online skate shop is still supporting the skate shop. i giving money to that. that skate shop. I understand that, but then it's like at the same time, man, it's just it's this new generation of people that would rather order off the internet, you know? I get it. Trust me. I understand both sides. I get it. I just think that as far as being progressive, I think the idea is sick. Cutting out the skate shop, that's shit. Like, there's no denying that, but at the same time, man, it's going to happen anyway. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I agree. It's definitely... Um... Not something we've seen from a board company in skateboarding. Uh, but I think more than really anything else, it does... Uh, like, look, I get that every, basically every company has their own online store that you can buy from. But most things... You know, every once in a while, maybe they'll have an exclusive thing in their store online. But pretty much everything that they're going to sell in their online store is going to be in a skate shop or on a skate shop's online store. Mm-hmm. So I think more than anything else, this is cutting the skate shop out of the picture which definitely sucks completely completely sucks that's true i guess i mean i'm totally in the middle because i don't buy primitive stuff i don't yeah i yeah i'm totally like middle ground like my shop doesn't carry primitive boards like it's just kind of like a not topic for me i guess but at the same time it's just like there is this clear divide that's like deserves to be talked about Mm mm-hmm I, I would imagine shops that carry primitive are probably not happy. really not hyped on it. I agree, especially but, if it's a well, shop okay. that does good numbers with primitive decks. Let Let's be completely fair. There is one other. Th- I th- my understanding is every month, the board that you receive is actually a board they haven't released. Yeah, that's what I was so getting out of it too. In terms of a board graphic, it's not the exact same thing you could go get in a shop because they are a little different. But after seeing this is the second month now, and the graphics aren't anything crazy different. Obviously, it's like this month is like I think Shane O'Neill wasn't a part of one series, and it's that Blur series that just says their name. Mm-hmm. And the one before was like a real basic, like one of the original primitive graphics, but it had a wood grain background instead of paint. I actually think those look um, those look sicker, in my opinion. Yeah, I almost always think wood grain looks sicker. But my point is that. I mean, there is that argument that it is something different. It's not exactly the same as the graphic you'd buy in the shop. But at the end of the day, it's the same board, same company. Very minor tweak to the graphic. So my overall opinion is that 
it, uh, like I would summarize it as, in my opinion, it is a bummer how much it's cutting the shop out. Um, but yeah. yes, we already said if you're into primitive, then is it a great deal? Yes, obviously. It's a, it's the value is good. That's what it is. The, yeah, I mean, what you're getting for your money, yeah, that's a good deal. But do people skate through wheels every month? No. So what are they going to do? Hell no. Dude, no. People don't skate through wheels like that. That's what I'm saying. They're, like, that is a little weird. I don't know if maybe how the kids that are into it. How long do wheels last you? Uh, I'll skate. Uh, I'll probably skate wheels for like four months. That's how I am. That's what I'd say. Like three to four months. I skate months. them until they're done. I don't like to waste them. No, I don't. I don't waste I'll shit. S- I give. I'll I give everything them. away, dude. I want to skate them until they're super small and done. Medina flow for life. I got a fucking real board sitting right here. I got to skate. You want to see it? Sure. Now that you've mentioned <laughs> it, sure. <laughs> it's completely black. I can dude. tell you want to show everybody, so go ahead. Dude, look at this fucking thing, dude. Can you even read it? It's just black. It's a on, shot, right? Black on black murder. Yeah, dude. It's got to be one of the gnarliest, like, just evil-looking graphics I've ever seen in my life. I know it's not the best, but moving right along. Copenhagen pro winner. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Ben K went pro. And he snapped his board. Another another pro, another week, another pro in skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Hopefully, hopefully we get a video part with him. I'd be hyped on that. Dude, he is I like gnarly is the best word to describe him. I think. Yeah, gnarly. Ben is Ben is just, gnarly. Just dude. gnarly. Pinch is fifty fifties like crazy. Just skates the craziest spots. High risk spots. <laughs> There's that one that he, I can't remember what entity is it is, but he like he front fifties a rail and then like it's like a gnarly rail and he's like pinched on his trucks. And then out of fucking nowhere he kick flips out. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's that rail in New York. I mean, I feel like all of his footage is in New York. It's a, it, okay. Let me put it in Cherry. Uh, Dylan Reader fifties it because it's a rail that it's like a handicap rail angled down, and there's a ledge that's flat like this. Yeah. Yes. And Dylan fifties the rail onto the ledge. It's that rail. Dude, that was no. Why do I always forget about that? They're like Ben, that's gnarly. That's like kind of a lame trick, dude. Unless you do it yeah, the that's, right yeah, way. Exactly. Exactly. Unless it's you like do it the. Trick. It's kind of a lame trick. It's like kind of like a. You just learned 50 50s and you know how to do kick flips. Exactly. I mean, whatever. But he, he, he made, made it look crazy. badass. We've also seen Sheckler made it look super badass, too. What did Sheckler do it on? He does it like, um, I think he does it like, uh, it's in true. I can't remember what, what the obstacle is, though. But okay. He does like a fucking gigantic one in true. You know which one I like, actually? Which is funny, because this I completely agree that this trick is, like, kind of... It's whatever. It's like a little... I, I just described it as a little kid trick. Anyway, John Shanahan, I think, did a cool one, actually, in the uh, DC Arrival video. And, dude, like I've, that, I've watched that video, like, uh, five times. A, a rainbow-type rail that you ride onto, so it, like, jams into it, and then it's raining, and he kickflips off of it. He did it super good. Mm-hmm. And I like that one, but again, it's a trick that has to be done very particular way on a it's got to be like a fucked up to. obstacle. It can't just be like some yeah. regular ass shit. You, you can't do it on a bench in the middle of a line. I was just going to oh, be like, no. that it was... would be, it would get called out. It would get called out immediately. They'd be like, I mean, well, you just wouldn't see it out of someone that's going to have like a big online part or mm-hmm. in an hey, you see, Did you see that Deshaun is filming for a part? I mean, what skateboarder isn't? Leo Romero. Uh, well, he has one that's about to come out, hopefully. No, they all. But like. yes, I did see his caption. Yeah, all I'm saying is that what board is that that he's riding? Is that sarcasm? No, what is it? We don't know. Oh, he's been skating real boards for a while. Is that what it is? It's a real board. No, he's been what, skating uh, blanks, dude. Deshaun's hella been skating blanks. I can promise you, I've seen Deshaun Jordan skating real boards for the past at least couple there's months. A, there's a rollerblader rolling by my house right now. I swear on my life, on everything. Give him, give him that board and tell him to start skating. Nah, he's gone. Um, that was fucking funny. I you guarantee you. No, no, no. Yeah, if you pay attention to his videos, you'll recognize the graphics, Mike. All right, all right. Well, um, what what is he filming for, man? Probably a no. Probably a Thrasher part. Welcome to real. Damn. 
I have no idea. All, all I'm saying is I've noticed that he's playing <laughs> airborne graphics. I don't know. That'd be so crazy. Damn, that'd be fucked up. I always thought, I, dude, I was trying to zoom in, see if them shits were numbers boards, honestly. You really never? I thought you were being sarcastic. I thought you would have noticed by now. I swear to God, I thought they were numbers boards, man. He had a real board at Street League. I don't watch Street League. I'm sure you saw, like, his Insta video there. I'm gone. Hey, dude, Street League's going to be lit this year. I thought you don't watch it. No, we got good news. What? Street League's going to be good this year. We got we got press passes. You did? We did. How? Well, we'll talk about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I'm that's cool. that, that'll bring it to a whole different experience for you. Oh, yeah, man. I'm very, very oh, excited. Cool to be right down there. Oh, yeah. We're going to be in, in the, the deal. In the shit, dude. Speaking of, what were we just talking about, Nike? Oh, we were talking about the DIY thing earlier. Uh, DIY. Kevin Kirtning. Oh, those ugly uh, dunks? Yeah, he has like a, a, a dunk with the ankle. Just think uh, cost three. three and then think dunk, and then you'll have it in your head. You literally got it right there. <laughs> Um, that shit's extra. Okay, first of all, personally, I was a little surprised that they used him for this. It's dude, right? What? Yeah, but I think also in a way, I, in, a, in a sense, it makes sense because I feel like they haven't really done anything with him since they put him on. But I, I think mean, he hasn't done, done anything still. since he got put on. What I just do you don't hear about think, him? I think a lot of people had no idea he was on. I don't fucking I still literally, don't even know who he is, to be honest with you. I I'm saw totally comments. being honest. I saw comments in that, like, this is his colorway, whatever the dunk in this video is here, and all the comments were like, I thought he was on Huff. Mm-hmm. I saw multiple comments that said that. Totally. Totally. I agree with all those comments. I didn't even – I forgot. Same with um, – what's his face? Um, John Fitzgerald. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. yeah. He would have fit perfect on Vans. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Like he just I was mean, like, oh, good in blazers too. You're hurt now. Come on. Um. Yeah, I mean, did you watch the know, video dude. for it? There was no. some cool. Oh clips yeah, 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 I like. I yeah, like. Yeah. He rips. There's yeah, no denying Kevin's that he rips. Sick. I just, dude, I don't understand where, like, where this came from. Uh, the thing is, like, I mean, he, he's skating the shoes in that video kind of obviously because it's promoting that shoe. But mm-hmm. it's not like that video is all filmed in one day. So he, Hell no. It, you know, it's all it's street footage. He's been skating in them. But in, you general, see, uh... in general, I would I just surprises me to see him wearing that shoe because it just doesn't seem like it fits. Hey, like, I'm... I wouldn't have expected it. He went from, like, huff low with the little rubber toe cap. The classic that. low. That was, like, he, that yeah. was like, he was the dude pushing that shoe. I completely agree with that. Like I would expect to see him in like CKs or maybe like Janowski slip-ons or something. What about the what about the Donnie Depp? What? What do they call him? What is that? What is his real last name? Why can't I think of his name? Oh. Donnie. Piscopo? Yeah. Yeah, um, I could see him in the in Donnie's blazer colorway or something. Yeah, I read this Instagram. I think it was Jimmy Bridges where they called him Donnie Depp, and I think that's hilarious. That is pretty funny. I think that's hilarious. I, like that. I love that. He like in the photo too. He's all like super high fashion, looking with like a piece of hair going. Down dude, Donovan's got this. Dude, his style is so sick. Uh, Donovan's the man, dude. We all I know love, that. I love watching him skate. Chronicles two part. Dude, Chronicles T like stole that video, and people don't even give him no love. I mean, opening part, and he goes off. He goes off, and all you ever hear about is like Luan in a shot. And Shane, that part's crazy. And Shane. Well, and when Shane, you, when you hear about he Shane. A, hold on, yeah. hold on. He did a crooked clicking. grind. He, wait, he did a crooked grind, Nolly Trey flip to manual. I already kicked Yeah, at that. a street spot. And I'm probably positive he had a camera with him because he was Sunday and his caption was like Sunday mission. And he put it on an iPhone on Instagram. Mm hmm. Like, I don't think anyone else would do that on Mm-mm. this planet. Dude, I heard that he kickflips in and that he may do something out of the manual. Who did you know that was there? I mean, I just heard that they saw it. I heard. What? I have some friends in L.A., Grant. Don't act like you're the only one in California. 
Oh, no. I, I mean, I have no idea what he did. I was just surprised. Dude, all I know is that that spot is rad. Yeah, it did look pretty cool. I've never seen it before. Dude, five zero front shove manual. That's what I would want to do there. Five zero front shove manual front shove. Tech Medines. Uh, I'm looking at this list. That's it. We ran through no, the whole bitch. If, no, it's not because if I didn't say this, I know you would be pissed because I know you want to talk about it. Uh oh. Which one? Uh, Tiba now works for Thrasher Magazine. Oh, this is another one that got swept under the rug by us, dude. We're horrible at our jobs. So, I it's mean, I know you wanted to talk about this. That's an interesting one, dude. He's been with... I was no, shocked when I saw the announcement. Shocked. How long was he been with, um, what you call it? The skateboard Mag? S- skateboard Mag. Forever and ever, right? Yeah, I, I don't know what time period, but uh, I mean... I wish I would have researched this more. I forgot. I forgot about this topic again as well. I don't know. It's fucking. It's kind of like a. Um, we all love Thrasher so much, and like not saying anything against the skateboard mag at all. But I don't read that shit. I haven't gotten one. I haven't looked at one. I haven't even seen one in my like physical copy in years. And that's just me being totally honest. Thrasher, you see that shit everywhere, everywhere. People still buy Thrasher magazines. They still get the subscriptions. It's sick. I love it. And it's like almost like, um, do you remember when Gary went from Metro to Thrasher? Yeah. And everyone was, or he said something along the lines. you mean Ride Channel to Thrasher? I mean Ride Channel to Thrasher. And there he said something along the lines of, um, I'm home now, or I'm, I'm home. I'm glad I've Yeah, I do it almost, I almost get the same feeling for a Tebow. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, he was, like, the face of the skateboard mag for so many years. That's why I was so surprised. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people were surprised. But at the same time, I do see what you're saying and that, like, he is uh, one of the top known and – He's hands and, down the most known. Very like, there's no denying about like, skateboard photographer. Hands down. So him being matched up with the biggest and most successful skateboard magazine obviously makes sense, and mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll see some cool stuff come out of that. Mm-hmm. I can't uh, wait for the first Atiba cover on Thrasher. It's going to be fucking awesome. I don't think we'll have to wait too long. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm sure we'll see cool stuff come out of it. I, I want to wait the cover. I really want to. I'd like to interview Atiba. That would be a cool thing to do. Yeah, one of my, my homies that like works with me, he wants to do, he's like really into cameras and all like the filming, videography, photography type shit, you know? So okay. I want him to do it just because there'll be more time for them, like more. Does he skate? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what Wait, oh, are you saying he works at Fargo? Oh, uh, he rides for Fargo. He hasn't worked there, no. But he works at the same place that you do? No, he's the one who got me the job at the place that I work. It's, it, that's irrelevant, dude. Like oh. He works with me on United, is what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you were saying he he, did, he worked at the same house. Well, he whatever. does. He did. He's the one who got me the job that where I'm at right now. Cool. But anyway, well, yeah, uh, that yeah. has nothing to do with this. I just got confused. At all? No, no. But uh, that's saying, cool. I think it'd be cool for him to interview Atiba because there'd be like that that ground, the common ground for them to nerd out on, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's definitely, hopefully, definitely hopefully we're gonna. Yeah, we plan yeah, on we plan on reaching out to him very shortly, actually. Cool. Yeah. Sick. Well, that's a wrap for uh, this week's topic list. Um, and like I mentioned last week, if there's anything you want us to talk about that we yeah, like missed, that. because like it that. happens, comment whether it's on YouTube, on this video, or on uh, Instagram. Just tag us, whatever you want to do, uh, because we'd love to talk about what you guys want to hear. And actually, one thing I want to mention was that I, I saw a comment about Someone said on YouTube they commented it that we should have all the viewers load up a video at once, then we'll critique it or talk about it, whatever the word was. But uh, the thing that would be weird with it would be too hard. Like, would that completely if, work? No, I don't think so. I think it would like miss stream. Like it would just it wouldn't be right. Yeah, I really like the idea. Me too. And it actually made me think of something Drew, Drew, myself, and Billy did a few times was we watched Street League live and talked like commentated over it. Yeah, but you didn't get to see the screen. Um, I know. That's the problem. That's the thing is that, yeah, you would have to have the people live would have to open another tab and click at the same time as us. And then if you're not watching live, I think a lot of people only listen. Mm-hmm. So 
I don't know. It, I mean, it, it's a cool idea. I love the idea. Like, keep the ideas coming. If you have stuff you want us to do, videos you want us to watch, talk about, whatever. Yeah, fucking, yeah, I love uh, that. Yeah. And hopefully we can do something like that in the future. I don't know if right now it's really going to fit in with how it's set up. But we appreciate it and hope to do more stuff that you guys want to watch and listen to. Yeah, seriously. All right. Well, we'll be back with episode 112 and more cool stuff to talk about in a week. For sure. Peace.